just live with a heart of gratitude and understand that even the bad things that happen, the heartbreaks, the letdowns, the failures, the things that didn't pan out um, according to your vision, um, be grateful for those experiences because you never know, you never understand, you really understand God's plan, right? It's like uh, my friend that, that took me in, in in Hawaii, right? We're still best of friends, and I, I that guy literally changed my life. His family changed my life yeah. forever. Um, and he taught me this. He said, "Imagine sitting on the curb and, and watching a parade go by, and you see the you know the, you see the band go by, then you see the the Martian girls go by, then you see the elephant go by, and all this kind of stuff. And and, and you kind of sort of remember what already you just saw, and then you see." absolutely what's in front of you, but you don't really know what's coming next or what's coming, you know, 10, yeah. 10 acts down the road. And he said, that's our human perspective. He says, God's perspective of your life is like sitting on top of a skyscraper and looking down, seeing the beginning, seeing the end, seeing everything happens in between there. And then all the, the continuity of all those events makes sense from A to Z, but it's hard for us to make sense when you're on like F. Yeah, yeah, you have that yeah. short-sighted yeah. vision. And G that ain't looking so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and you start you start to resent F and G, and and you don't realize that those things had to happen to to, the, to either gain wisdom or experience or, or perspective to go to the next thing. Or maybe some of those experiences were like tests. Like I got this huge blessing for you lined up, but I got to vet you out first to make sure you don't screw up this blessing. So you got to be tested, you know, fire tested in the beginning. Yeah. And so I look at all these things like, why did I have to move to Hawaii and, and get married and divorce, get my heart broken? Well, I had to meet my friend Bob. Mm. And I met my friend Bob through my ex-wife. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? It wouldn't happen without her. Yeah, and so, so my, Bob and his wife, Charlene, and his kids completely gave me a new perspective on family and, and, and how to live right and, and how to be generous with people and, and how to accept people. And, and, and so from there, all these weird things had to happen. Like, I wouldn't be... The, the, the business partner I have today and, and, and my newest company I have today that we're unbelievably excited about, that would not have happened had I not been screwed by all these other yeah. faux business partners along the way. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, it's just like I couldn't appreciate what an amazing woman my wife is had I not had some of these other relationships that like schooled me up a little bit. Yeah. You know? So kind of a long-winded answer, but being grateful for the inconvenient times and the difficult times and the heartbreaking times, as opposed to resenting them and saying, oh, look at this guy, he's got it so easy. It's like, man, you don't know what that guy went through. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's like you, you say, well, you have this perception of yeah. me because you've met me in this little window right here. Yeah. But there's this whole backstory of, of not good things. Mm -hmm.